beautiful day in Gibraltar. We are just moving to our winter berth this morning um, around to the other side of the marina. As much as we would have loved to stay amongst the uh, lovely, nice, fancy Porsche slash super yacht, um, we are moving to a different berth. ridiculously warm today it's about 25 degrees which for us it seems somewhat um, unbelievable for November weather being from Scotland but uh, we're not complaining we're just coming out the main part of the marina going around here and then back around behind everything the corner we came to scope out our new birth for the next three months um, earlier so we're just between those two boats there it's a pretty good spot i have to say so we are all settled in our new berth we need to go get our app sorted so we have access to some power and water and then it's exploring Gibraltar for the next three months it's a lot of monkeys it's a lot of fucking monkeys this is a monkey welcome back to our channel if you're new here welcome aboard our floating home rital i'm daria this is chris and that's jasper and these are our three seaworthy dogs hachi luna and mimi we're just an ordinary family navigating life one sail at a time. In June 2023, we left Scotland behind with no plan to return. We live, sail and work full time all while cruising Europe, for now. Every wave tells a story and every sail brings us closer to the unknown. We invite you to be part of our adventure as we share our experiences, insights and the ups and downs of living life on a boat. So, sit back, relax, enjoy and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So the work day is over, so we're gonna go and have a couple of drinks with a couple of fellow cruisers and enjoy the evening. It's been a busy day with work for the most part, um, so we haven't really got to go out and explore, but that's a plan for this weekend. Um, so got a couple more working days this week to go, so. The time got away from us as we chatted to Miri and Jeff from Echo about all their adventures across their 11 years of cruising. Soon it was time to head back home. Good morning. It's another somewhat less sunny day in Gibraltar, but to be honest, it is very early, so it's probably going to get sunny later. Last night we went out with um, Mary and Jeff um, from Eco for um, drinks and ended up coming back to the boat quite late. So I felt like I went out the window as did everything else. This morning, however, Luna had a little misfortune with her favourite crabby. So of course, what are you doing? <sighs> Luna loves her toy and she loves to shakey, shakey, shake, but fluff goes everywhere. Leave it, Luna. Leave it. I'm repairing it for you. Mm. With a sail repair kit for a crab, for a dog. <laughs> Look at her wanting it. She's like, I want the crabby. Can I have? There you go. While, while Chris is sewing crabby up, 
Luna's just holding on to it for protection. Just to make sure that I give her it back. She doesn't know what I'm doing with it. She's like, what are you doing with it, Dada? What oh, Krabby? Why Krabby? Mama gave me Krabby. Yeah, she got Krabby in Villamora, didn't she? Yeah. Then yeah. she opened it up like a... Christmas present? Like a, like a yes. It's a, <laughs> a good one. Yeah. We're talking dog not making a mess of the whole boat with fluff level repair. I can see that. Yeah. You weren't meant to be a surgeon. That's not fair. I could have been a surgeon. I can apply detail when I need to. I think Villamura crab is probably not a strict detail requirement. I want to throw it. <laughs> Do all that stitching, I will rip it out. I want to rip it out. I am destruct a dog. I'm allowed to destruct it. No one tell me not to destruct. I will destruct. <laughs> you are so silly, Lulu. Right, Lulu, I'm trying to throw a needle through it. <laughs> Holy moly! That is such a botched up. <laughs> Fine, it's for me. Just drop this one off. Okay. You can take a freshly repaired Krabby. You take a take. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> shake, shake. Oh. And it's time to get to work. Standard work day. I'm trying to write the presentation. And she's trying to present her crabby. <laughs> You're gonna lose a tooth in a minute. I will never lose to it. Okay, I'll lose a little tooth in a minute. Over the next couple of days, we spend the days working and boat schooling while sketching up on boat jobs and popping out for way too many lunches and dinners. Very excited for the weekend when we finally get to explore Gibraltar and in the blink of an eye, after a busy work week, the weekend was here. It's tour time! I have a tour of Gibraltar with Francis from Guru. It's been a recommendation by Mary and Jess, so we're going to try these guys out, see how it goes, but it's meant to be a great tour. The tour began in Casemate Square, the former British barracks and the site of public executions. We couldn't recommend Francis's tour highly enough. His passion, knowledge and outgoing personality made this two-hour tour one to remember. From the legends of Hercules splitting apart the continents, multicultural history of Gibraltar, to World War I and II and everything in between and since, Francis covered impeccably with interesting stories, facts, legends and artefacts shown along the way.
In the end, we entered the tour on Main Street, the principal shopping street where you will find the Parliament House, the Roman Catholic Cathedral, the law courts and the governor's residence. As the weather was nice, we were treated to the reenactment association's Saturday march from the governor's house to Casemate Square. After grabbing some food and relaxing on the boat for a little bit, we walked up to the north side of the rock for what turned out to be the most beautiful sunset and monkeys. And yes, dogs are allowed up in the nature reserve, providing you behave responsibly and keep your distance. We had no issues and ensured the monkeys were aware of the presence and that it did not come as a surprise. With a watchful eye, everyone left each other alone and went about their business. <laughs> Daria has gone full Edinburgh on her chips. I dropped one. Nah. Uh, Leave me alone. You take the girl out of Edinburgh. You can take Edinburgh out of the girl. I'm Polish. Which is why you're here, by the way. You know, EU passport and everything. You want to stay in Europe? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And till next time.